it's time to cross check the rear end before I assemble everything and I have hanged this up on this strap here it hangs on almost the end of the shock itself it has one centimeter to go down therefore it leans a little bit down um, and I measured out the top position it can go to this is nine centimeters up and I have 10 centimeters total travel roughly and to do this is just a matter of being able to pull this up and down to see if it works or not and then adjust everything so it actually do fit and the first I notice here is that when I lift this side barely like that this one touches that end and that's because this one needs to go out so let's get some washers And there we have that aligned, a little bit better hope. Now we can lift it without issues. It's just that the whole assembly needs to go outwards, as I can see it. We're going to do the rear end and before we assemble everything here we need to fix this part here it's rather rusty so let us get this out uh, we need to get this exit out to, to mount the, 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 the protection behind here and i also need to and want to replace all the studs here towards new ones and the reason for that is because i screwed up a little i mixed those together with the front and the front is UNF and this is um, metric and I, I, need, I need to fix that so let us get the studs out first and getting the studs out is rather easy especially on place here just be aware of the, um, the bearing and this is just about to whack this really hard one time and they will fly out When that's done, we can re get rid of this rear axle and those 
four bolts on the end here. This rear axle out, it's just a matter of pulling it out and it doesn't and if it doesn't come out you just whack it a little bit. Like that. If you get a lot of oil coming out here, make sure to tip the axle. I'm going to do that to make sure it comes out. It's a matter of getting it out slowly and nicely. So let's get this to the bench and clean it up. The best and easy way is to use a hydraulic press. If you don't have one, you can use a sledgehammer or a vise. But the vise is not really recommended because you will destroy the vise. So let me show you here how I do it. So you need something to be in between here. Because you are going to press them together. So let's firstly insert the new one here. And then you are going to have that on top like that. It's important that you have enough distance. And then you put that one on top, so you will be pressing this onto it. Let's see how much force we need to do this. I think I had needed roughly 5 tons of pressure. So that's not really that much. But for a vise that's a lot. Let's take the other one. Yeah. changed um, perhaps the bearing but at least the seals but I'm not going to do that today because they are good but I need to clean the surface up a little bit make sure to remove all the paint that might have come in when you have cleaned up the axle it's time to insert it to mount it but you need to have all the brake pieces here as well. Those goes in the top to hold the handbrake pads. I will be <laughs> disassembling this at least one more time after this so I'm not really worried about cleaning the bolts up here.
So we have the front brake caliper here and we have the front brakes here and this is the top, it sits like this and unfortunately I bought the one with dual systems so I need to connect them together either you open it up and drill between them or you add what I'm going to do a, a T-cross here and the T-cross itself is rather simple to do um, except for it's a little bit more costly but I'm going to do that so let's remove the cap here so we're going to add this one here like that and let's start doing some brake lines So that's the first side. What's important now is that you need to be able to have two of them like that and at the same time clamp it down. So there we basically have the first piece, they are flared in both ends, we can now add this one here. Next one is a little bit more tricky, because now we need to go from that one around and to that one. I have a pre-cut pipe here that I think should fit. You can see like that, and you bend it around, and it should go in. So mounting it like this, you can just hold it in place and to check it out. And it's important this aligns properly here, so it doesn't touch anything. Sorry. And this one looks really good. I think this is quite the, where I want it. Might be a little bit upwards, but I think it's fine. And the hose will go there. So let's get it to the bench. So this screw here that I have, as you can see, is two washers in between. And that's because I'm using this caliper from Volvo 240 on a spindle that is from the Volvo 140 and I had to take away a little bit here and that's why as you can see if you check here you will see the threads are not far enough in and that's why I need those so I can actually swap those to a bracket that holds this one and we need, let's see here and that's for that one And after mounting it to the car, 
This is how it looks like right now. And you can see that it sits really tight, but still okay. And the hose will come out here and go into the chassis. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that will work just fine. So it's a little bit awkward to have two different pistons like that. And yeah, but we'll see. It will work for me. Hose is this tight here where I going to clamp it down, doing like that. The front end has started to look really good, uh, except this side doesn't look that good still. But I think we can make the hub actually look like this one here. New studs and some new paint. So let's pick this apart and fix it up. there are some marks around here in the paint where we pressed and we just add some paint to that that's not a big deal what I did forget to do on this one is to make sure the threads here are nice so I need to do that now So it's time to finalize this and cleaning it up a little bit on the inside to make sure that we don't have any debris left.
det finns då. Får jag lägga hela bilen? Då gör jag så. Selfie, look at me.